Hello, everyone, and welcome to our Gospel Reflection for this Friday, the 14th of January. We're continuing this first week in our ordinary time, and so we begin in the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. We continue to read from the Gospel of Mark, but today we move on to chapter 2, verses 1 to 12. When Jesus returned to Capernaum, word went round that he was back. And so many people collected there that there was no room left, even in front of the door. He was preaching the word to them when some people came bringing him a paralytic carried by four men. But as the crowd made it impossible to get the man to him, they stripped the roof over the place where Jesus was. And when they had made an opening, they lowered the stretcher on which the paralytic lay. Seeing their faith, Jesus said to the paralytic, My child, your sins are forgiven. Now some of the scribes were sitting there, and they thought to themselves, how can this man talk like that? He is blaspheming. Who can forgive sins but God? Jesus, inwardly aware that this was what they were thinking, said to them, Why do you have these thoughts in your hearts? Which of these is easier? To say to the paralytic, Your sins are forgiven or to say, get up, pick up your stretcher, and walk. But to prove to you that the Son of Man has authority on earth to forgive sins, he said to the paralytic, I order you, get up, pick up your stretcher, and go off home. And the man got up, picked up his stretcher at once and walked out in front of everyone, so that they were all astounded and praised God, saying, We have never seen anything like this. The Gospel of the Lord. Again today, Jesus is at Capernaum, and again we see this focus on the authority of Jesus. And in this gospel, we see a double healing take place. One healing is for sin, and the other healing is for disease. These two healings also reflect on each other because we can see a visible cure in one case, which is the disease get up and walk. And we can also see an invisible cure for the other. Jesus forgives the man his sins. And as we hear, this scandalised the scribes. Yet they only take issue with the forgiveness of sin healing. For them, as we hear, this is blasphemous. And they are right that only God can forgive sins, for sins injure God's world in a way which only God can put right. So the authority of Jesus continues to grow until the only possible conclusion is that this is God among us. Mindful that this man that we hear in the gospel today is healed in two ways, both physically and internally. For our prayer and reflection, what areas of my life need the healing of Jesus at the moment? In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Thanks for joining us for our Gospel Reflection this morning. I look forward to seeing you tomorrow. 
as we conclude this first week of Ordinary Time. Until then, take care and God bless. Thanks, everyone. Thank you.